Hi everybody. Thanks for watching FND Outdoors. You see the Christmas tree here in the background because it's almost Christmas and today feels like no exception because guess what? It's a pocket box day. So this month's theme for a pocket box is survival tools and I am excited to open this thing up and see what's inside. Here we go. My wife is looking at me like I'm a nerd. She's right there. She's right. I'm a nerd. I've been waiting for this for a few days. Wasn't supposed to get here till tomorrow, so I'm pretty happy to see it. Okay. We open the box. Let's take out the sheet of paper and close it. Okay, let's grab something. Oh, this looks already like a good box. Field tool maintenance kit bag. Oh, it'd be great if there's a strap in there because I need a strap. All right, so this month's theme, tool and tool maintenance. Tool maintenance desk mat, a multi-function sharpener, a field maintenance bag, double-sided bench strop, double-sided bench strop, which is what I just said I need. I love things in doubles. Diamond paste syringe, a rock and roll sharpener, and an Abraham Lincoln patch. Okay. Here's the strop, which is really is just conveniently perfect timing because that's what I've been looking for, is a, is a strop, which is excellent. Got a, a sharpening uh, still here. Oh boy, here we go, what do we got? I must have missed something on here. Four-way rasp and a buffalo bone whistle. This box is just loaded up. Someone had mentioned on Facebook that they cut themselves. Maybe this is how. Little knife there. I'm gonna shape that handle down. This is the Abaca Box knife kit. See that beauty right there. So I assume we're gonna make that out of there. Pretty cool. Abraham Lincoln Patch, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'll spend the first four sharpening the axe. All right, so our next item in here uh, is something that um, the Apocabox folks put on um, Instagram and Facebook. And they said, hey, what is, what is this? You know, what is this tool? And I was like, no, nah, I don't know. I was guessing maybe it was like a, uh, for... Uh, tapping a tree, you know, like maybe I had this and it was kind of a handle to the screw so you could twist it in and uh, like get the like birch sap or something out uh, to drink. And this is actually a rock and roll sharpener. So you can see it's a little rolling uh, knife sharpener. Another good tool. So this is all about keeping your tools in good condition. Man, this Kydex sheath is tight. It's all right, because I got more. Here is the desk mat, which I am gonna go put on my desk downstairs. Tool care, I dig it. What else we got here? Talks about just the points of the knife, uh, the different types of knives, very cool. We got normal, clip point, drop point, spear point, daggers, kukri, have one of those, uh, thanks Tom. And, uh, Two different styles. All right. Ah, oh, now that we're not doing a bag and we got our box again, we got some player starting stuff. Good stuff. So this is diamond paste, and um, this is kind of like your uh, stropping compound. So you put this on the strop and strop, and I'm going to strop some knives tonight. So in fact. Uh, I'll add that to the video, strapping a couple of my knives and seeing if I can ch -ch 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 -ch, uh, some paper, which I've been able to get it so I can poke through and slice through, but I've never used a strop before, uh, so I've never been able to just go, you know, whoop, 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 and carve it right off. And I'd like to do that. This is the um, the rasp, uh, four-way rasp, which I could see this. It's pretty heavy, but I could definitely see this being good in the field. Uh, if you guys got the box with the um, Siberian... Uh, hatchet in or Siberian axe or the little Russian axe in it. This would be a definitely a good field tool for keeping that nice and uh, Nice item 
It's a pretty awesome box, actually. There's a lot going on in here. So that's uh, a buffalo bone whistle. Let's see here. Ooh. It's really beautiful. I mean, it's just bone, but it's gorgeous. It's nice. So the skills challenge this month is this knife kit, and that's to finish uh, the knife. And so they want you to use the rasp here to uh, form the handles, and then heat and form the kydex sheath, which makes more sense as to why it's so darn, um, why it's so darn tight in there. So we need to form it, and then uh, we'll get it sharpened up. Which it's got a little bit of an edge on it now. It's a little rough, but um, it's uh, you know at least got some blade. And I am excited, so we're definitely gonna uh, record that skills challenge. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. This could be fun. Daddy, yeah. Do you want to go to Target and Dollar General? Target right now? I'm playing with an Ayapaka box. No way! So I had my little Swiss Army knife in my pocket and I just dropped it real fast and it was pretty sharp. I mean, I took an airbag today and just went and cut it nice and nice and easy. Um, so, you know, obviously I have plenty of knives upstairs, but let's just try getting some major heat here to go shopping. That's not. So that's easy. So apparently I just need to up my game. All right, so I did just take off my first little chunk. Ah, of course. There we go. Well, just like I told my wife, I'm absolutely not going to Target. And uh, so now we're back from Target. And I was uh, working on this dropping a little more. And um, obviously it's important to go the right way with the grain. And I wasn't recording, but I took a slice and one went off perfectly. Um, so let's see if I can do it again. I don't know. You know, that's, that's why it's come clean off. There we go. Anyways, that's pretty sharp. So, oh, you know what? I guess I've never done this before, <clears throat> but let's see if uh, I've ever tried this. I got plenty of hair on my arms, so let's see here. Uh, yeah. Yep, it'll definitely <laughs> leave a little bald spot right there. There we go. So and that's the first. Now I'm going to look weird with a bald patch on my arm. But that's the first time I've ever uh, sharpened a knife to uh, cut hair off. You can see the little hairs there. Sharpest I've ever sharpened a knife. So. I'm pretty excited about that. Woo. I can't wait to get uh, some of my other knives. I got maybe some of my whiskey knives or this knife that I'm going to make for the skills challenge. And that's going to be a good time. I'm excited about that. And uh, we'll get to work on that soon. Overall, though, but this is the best box. This is the best pocket box that I've had yet. It's funny because I don't have a strop. I've been, I just been looking into sharpening stones, bought a, bought a couple. And um, I still, you know, was looking for a strop. And boom, this one just shows up on my porch today, so perfect timing. And uh, I'm really excited about this box, man. This is a box that's gonna get used. Awesome box, you know, I'm sure a lot of this stuff, when it hits the uh, the store, some of those things will be flying off the shelf. I'm so satisfied with this box more than, more than any of the rest, and I love the last box too. And you know, the whistle's cool too. So anyways, awesome Apaka box, and uh, enjoy the, uh, knife making video. I'm excited about that and uh, let's see if I can get this right. So uh, I think you should click here. Is it here? Or maybe there. 
Well, so anyways, happy the outdoors. Let's get outside, and thanks for watching. So I get to make my own knife, carve the handle, make the sheath. <laughs> okay, so that was a reshoot. She kissed me last time, but the camera wasn't rolling. Good night. I went to Target.